Hey, welcome back. I'm your adventurer artist, AJ Moore, and today I'm looking for insects. I was looking in these logs, but I didn't see any. Maybe the anteaters got them. Well, there's no anteaters out here, but it's nature, y'all, so it could happen. But I'm looking for all the creepy and crawly stuff that make you go, ooh. So I don't care what it is, we're gonna find some insects today. So let's do it. It's nature, y'all. Here we are again, adventurers. I'm the narrator. Our adventurer is searching high and low for insects of any kind, but I guarantee you, the one insect he will not have to search for would be the mosquitoes. Those little pests. What do we have here? All right, look at this. <laughs> I think it's playing dead. Tene Broninae, AKA a blap. blap. These are really cool beetles. They're, they normally come in black, but they also have brown and uh, maybe like a deep grayish tone. And sometimes they, they also have that metallic color as well. Blap, I just like that name. Hmm, this might be my favorite beetle. But anyway, they have these long legs in the back. It looks like they can jump, but I guess they use those for running around because they walk really high off the ground like a spider. And they're found in every single continent except Antarctica. <laughs> Duh. These little blaps, they like to hang out around here and they just eat uh, either fresh vegetation or decaying vegetation. It doesn't really matter. Now, when you go to the pet store, you know how you get those little mealworms? and you feed them to your lizard and stuff like that, mm -hmm. that's the larvae of these guys. They just go under something and they lay their little eggs and the larvae turn into little mealworms. Uh, now the ones you get may be a different type, but this one produces a mealworm as well. So this is a blap. Really, really cool, interesting shape and they're pointed on the end. They don't really bite at all. I'm just not picking him up because he seems to be comfortable on this rock it's a little cool out here in the morning, so I guess he's just waiting on the, the sun to get on him so he could, you know, warm up a bit. Now, these guys, they have to be careful because there's a lot of things out here that eat blaps. Like, for one, rodents. Mice will eat them. Rats will eat them. Maybe some of the lizards, like the Texas spiny. The Texas spiny loves beetles. So if a blap goes up a tree or if a Texas spiny is just hanging around, they'll have a go at this blap. He'll be done. Lunch or dinner. There's a lot of sagebrush lizards around here too. They'll eat this blap. So these blaps gotta be careful. But I'm gonna leave him here and I'm just gonna let him blap alone. Let's go. Blap. Yeah, it was cool we found that blap. There's a whole bunch of blaps out here. No, I'm not even gonna get started again, but I know we can find some. Ooh, I see another beetle already just sitting on this tree. This one's kind of yellowish. Look, look, come on, go, go, go. See that beetle there? That's Pachnota sinunata. Hakuna matata. The yellow chafer, yellow fruit chafer, actually, because they love fruit. Yellow. Chafer. Now these guys are found in Namibia in South Africa so he is a long way from home but you see they get here through crates and stuff through shipments of, of uh, different types of goods that we get from over there and that's how they get here because they'll find a heap of manure you know or some compost you know any kind of doo-doo and they put their eggs in it and the eggs will incubate there and they hatch. Now these guys are a pest for your garden because they love to suck the nutrients from fruit. You know, they, they, they love fruit, they love flowers. So if you got roses, you'll find these guys in your roses. So they're probably not a good thing to see in your garden, but he's just on this tree right now. He's just sucking sap out of this tree. Look at that beautiful color though. 
You know, it almost looks like the Punisher sign or something. <laughs> this beetle will punish your garden, I tell you what. Yeah, straight for a beetle. Look under this log right here. See what's under it. Gotta make sure there's no snakes. That's why I put a glove on. <laughs> All right. uh, uh. I got this just in case I got a little critter. Little insects be under here sometimes. Uh. Oh, there's a little roach. Not interested in him. Oh, look at that, look at that. Look, 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 look. at that. See that right there? It's a mealworm. There he is. It's like what you get at the pet store. Look at him, he's trying to evade me. See how they go backwards. Nope, come here, come here. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. Look at this. This is a super worm. Super worm. This is from the larvae of a darkling beetle. Look at the size of it. The super worm actually comes from eggs. The eggs hatch and then it's a larvae, which is the super worm. And then from there it turns into a pupa. And then from there, an adult beetle. But yeah, this is what you get at the pet store. Probably from a completely different beetle because I noticed the head on this one is more pointed versus the ones you get at this, the pet store is more round like a dome head but uh yeah more of a pointed head a little pointy well let me put him back down now little mealworm uh, all right little one uh, gone now Gone now. There's like a million and one things I can eat you. See, he's gonna go and he's just looking for somewhere to be. See how they can just move right through the dirt, just like that. Blah! Yeah, y'all. We found. Let's see, a black. We found another beetle, and we found a gigantic super mealworm. I know we can do better than that. We're gonna have to find some more beetles, but you know what? I'm gonna look under some of these logs now, because it's about to get logger. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Perhaps I shouldn't say it a third time, else we might find a beetle that we can't get rid of. Looky here, <laughs> this right here, you see that? That's an ironclad beetle. Ironclad beetle. Here he is, the ironclad beetle. And no, I didn't harm him. This is his form of defense. See, he's playing dead. And there, he's waiting for it to be perfectly quiet. So then he'll flip himself back over and he'll get away. But I want you to see the other side of him. Look at those markings. This shell right here is really, really strong. And they say that if you have these guys in an insect collection, you need a drill bit to get through that shell to even put a pin in. Now you wouldn't do this to this guy right now, but that's how hard the shell is. That's probably why they got the name Ironclad, because he has an iron back. You know, he could be like like one of the Avengers or something, but you know, the man would probably get, you know, jealous a bit and he'll be like, get this guy out of here. I don't want this iron clamp beetle around here. But this beetle has an iron shell. Now these guys love to eat fungus. They love fungus. And they love also rotting wood. So he was hanging around this heap of wood that I'm sitting on and he was just eating. See now if I mess with him, Oh, well, he's not. Oh, he's going away. He's, he's tired of this. He's getting out of here. He's not playing dead. I guess he's not very disturbed then. Look at the coloration, just beautiful. 
It's really, really cool. It's an ironclad beetle. I'm gonna put him back. All right. Woo. So we found a, just found an ironclad beetle under those logs, but ooh, that's a lot of stuff we found, but I think I got one more in me. That's right, I think I got one more. If I can find one more, y'all wanna see me find one more? Mm -hmm. I got one more, here we go. Oh yeah, I see another beetle. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can get him. i put on my glove first though. So he look like he got some mandibles and I ain't trying to get bit. Come here, little beetle. Come here, little beetle. Come here, little beetle. Come here, little beetle. Oh, there, I got you. Ha ha ha. I got him. <laughs> okay, you see this beetle right here? This is the blue margin ground beetle. Blue margin ground beetle. A lot of times they're black or really dark brown, and sometimes they even have this little bluish sheen to them. Now these guys, believe it or not, they look intimidating, right? But they, they won't bite you unless you really try to handle them. So just leave them alone if you see them. Now, if you see these little ones in the garden, uh, leave them in there because they eat pest, pesty critters like snails, slugs, and stuff like that, stuff you don't want in your garden. At first I thought it was a stag beetle, but the stag beetle, they have uh, larger mandibles. These, the mandibles are a lot smaller. They're native to this part of the, the North America and uh, the Western, Southern areas. They're larvae, uh, they're like those little grubs that you see in the ground. These guys like to hang out around wooded areas. Uh, we just found this one over by these little cactus down in here. But they just, they're predatory. And they come out at night around dusk and they look for stuff. This one's out in the day because we got a good overcast today. But, uh, oh, God, he smells so bad. They have this, this way of defending themselves with this little odor or this musk that they put out because I tried to grab him <laughs> and he, he let out his little musk and it smells bad. Like my eyes are like, ooh, indeed, the musk is bad. It's making my eyes water. Perhaps I should have warned you that they squirted out a musk for protection beforehand. Yeah, I mean, the, the stench is really, really bad, y'all. They might as well call this the skunk beetle, I tell you what. All right, let's let him go. And I got him in this little thing. Now, don't let him fool you. They have wings underneath that shell, so he could fly out of here if he wanted to. But I'm just going to put him down since he was trekking. Let's let him trek. That's how you get it done. A ground beetle, baby. Ground beetle back in this lair. That's right. So that was a wonderful episode of finding beetles. All types of beetles out here. Y'all know my favorite beetle, but I'm not gonna do it again. But thanks for joining me guys for this adventure. And I really hope to see you on the next one. This was good, cause it's nature y'all. Take care. Thanks for watching this episode. I hope y'all liked it. If so, give me a like and leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. And come on now, subscribe so we can find some more stuff, even more beetles. <laughs> Take care, y'all.